Rise and shine, Frederick, rise and shine. Greetings, Frederick. Who are you? It's us, the Muses, whom you asked for inspiration so many times. Netty, Hypetti, and Messi. We sense that you'd returned. We want to help you. Since you left, no other master has appeared. Dear ladies, I'm honored. I wanted to. Piano, quiet. We haven't got much time. We bring you artifacts of great power. They may not be blades on a chain, but they are also extraordinary and almighty. When you say our names, this carriage will take you to any place in this world. And this is your grand piano. We hid it so that it could wait for you when you return. A pocket-sized one. Ideal for traveling, but when you take it out, it will revert to its natural size. So that you can hone your skill whenever and wherever. Dear ladies, thank you for your gifts. I hope you can also tell me... Piano Frederick, time takes no prisoners. We have to go. Or it might be too late. Something happened? You know, we're appearing in a Greek salad advert for a famous and influential fast food chain. Our careers depend on this. Oh, yes. But... Frederick, Frederick. goodbye. Bye. And good luck. Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? Chopper. You need not have returned. Who are you? You should have stayed on the other side. There's no frequency for you here. Who are you? Jean, the greatest musician in the world. I'm honored. There's no place for you here anymore. I'm sure we could come to some kind of agreement. Okay. In that case, give him. Hand over the grand piano. That's not what I had in mind. Bow voluntarily before electronic powers. Give in and I will leave you with remnants of consciousness capable of feeling something other than pain. Never! Unbending indeed. I have always admired you for that. But still I will process you into a sample for my cyber banjo. Perfect for serenades. Stand for a musical duel. Anything but serenades. All right, let's play. Frederick versus Jean.
musicality. Master, enough, enough, I give up, I'll tell you everything. Then speak, why did you attack me? It's not my fault, it's all because of him. He talked me into it, the one who brought you back. He said that if I defeated you, I'd be famous again, and I wouldn't have to leave off my pension. Who is this he? Why did he bring me back here? I don't know. He wore a mask and a hood. He said he had a great plan and I would benefit from it. Maybe others no more. He said that if I didn't succeed, there were other musicians. He said he was flying to the world's capital of culture. Wait a minute. The cultural capital? That could be Paris, I guess. Hmm. You're obviously not from this century. Now all the big things are in the USA. He was talking about New York. How truly strange. America? I do need to know why I returned here. It's time to fetch the carriage. I'll fly to America. What a journey! The carriage may have been fast, but rather uncomfortable. I'll spend the night on this beach. Yo man, get those bad vibes off my beach. But I'm not sad. I have only been reflecting. You've been humming some blue tunes with a long face. Optimism rules here. This place makes me feel depressed, uneasy. It was a normal beach, until you landed here to hum these nocturnes. But chill, I'll soon fix it. See old man, it's better already. Truly a powerful effect. Wait, don't I know you? What's your name, bro? Frederick Chopin, at your service. Chopin? You ruined my childhood. When I was five, they told me to pluck the grand piano like you. Have you any idea how I suffered? Everybody played reggae, and I played the piano. But it wasn't me, it was them who made you. I couldn't pull any chicks with music like that. Then I suffered from depression for 30 years until I got enlightened. Now I'm like a born again man. Really? No, I still suffer from trauma. And now I'll paint you yellow, red and green. Frederick! Versus Rob!
musicality. We played beautifully. Maybe now you could answer some of my questions. What was that? Was he really here or was it just a spectre which appeared in my dream? Clearly, the local fumes aren't too healthy. The day is dawning. High time I continued my journey. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to New York? Someone held me up there, by the fence and wires, and when they found out I was Polish, they said I had to have some kind of visa. Mister, who on earth are you? You look kind of pale. I am Frederick Chopin. Who? Well, Frederick Chopin. Haven't you heard of me by chance? Guys, you know him? Never. Nope. Uh, never. Uh, never. Nope. Not never. my whole life. Nope. Never. Hang on. The well-known composer? Like Haydn, Strauss, and Beethoven? The very same. It's nice of you to put me in such noble company. Wait a minute. How come he's well-known if we don't know him? Tell us some of your hits. Well, classical music? Concerts on the grand piano. Impossible. Nobody writes pieces like that anymore. I, I, I didn't think. I thought you was dead. You should have said from the start that you're one of us. Sit down. We're going. Another bus from the Elvis rally. Let him through, boy. Passing through. Going to New York. New York? I heard it's full of degenerates and outlaws. Really? Yep. So if you're going there, you must be an outlaw yourself. Duh. Let's arrest him just in case. Stop or I'll shoot. Let me! Let me shoot! No! You shot the last outlaw, and he was supposed to be questioned before that. Oh, my finger slipped, Sheriff. I'm sorry. Let's shoot him just in case anyway. Gentlemen, gentlemen, take it easy. I'm a composer. They call me Frederick Chopin. That's irrelevant. It's not personal. We're sheriffs, and we simply ran out of outlaws. And according to the law of our town, you must be our outlaw. And we'll torture you. We'll burn your sides. We'll set eggs on you. And you have the right to be unjustly tried. So, do you agree? No way. No. Enough. Take me to your leader. How come he knows about our leader? Uh, Houston, we got problems. Who's disturbing me? He doesn't want to be an outlaw. He says he's a composer. Have a musical duel. 
I know exactly. But boss, the the outlaws. Do as I say, and whoever loses will have to dance Swan Lake with me. No. Oh yes. Oh yes. Frederick versus Sheriff. Musicality. No, no! That's impossible! Don't worry. You dance Swan Lake and that's it. We all went through it. Let's shoot him anyway! We will give you a hard time. But it's time to leave this hole. Walk is waiting. But your work is here. You are sheriffs. You crazy? We're brokers. You know, everybody's got their innocent fantasies. Later.
Appearances can be deceptive and the eye may be misled, but... Excuse me, gentlemen, is this the world's capital of culture? Tis so, bro. Welcome to our neighborhood. I'm honored. Frederick Chopin, at your service. Never heard of you, but that's not your fault. We're very busy here. I can see. And who do I have the pleasure of meeting? I'm NN, chief of the greatest musicians in the world. We are the Knights of Notes. Our music is the fight for justice in this world. A revolution? Yep, bro. This world's existence can be purified only by unconditional loyalty to ideals. This attitude is similar to mine. Can I help you in any way? Thank you for your generous offer. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Our just cause will be supported by the wheels from your carriage. What? How are they to help the cause? They look sexy. They go well with my teeth. This cannot be. Return the wheels. If you want them back, you must play something that will knock us off our feet. Anyway, we agree to deal with you. Stand up and fight. Frederick versus Anne Anne.
musicality. You said something about agreeing to duel with me. Who set you up to it? One guy came here, don't know him, from a different district, I guess, but looked like one of us. He had this huge hood, and you should have seen his ride. He promised each of us was gonna get one like that, and we were gonna be famous. And did he say why he wanted the fight, or where he is at the moment? He said he had some kind of plan, and he was gonna cross the whole country and an ocean somewhere. Don't remember the name. What's the point of knowing the world if here is the best place? We had a look at his amazing gold signet rings. They only care about trinkets and carriages, and have probably never heard of the Philharmonic or the theatre? And this is supposed to be the world's capital of culture? The capital? It's not here, not this address. If you want to see the world's capital, please come to Tokyo. Tokyo? Japan? Well, you need to cross the whole country and an ocean. Why not? Excuse me, but you are playing so beautifully. Can I record some of this music as a ringtone for my mobile phone? I don't fully understand what you mean, but go ahead, little boy. Thank you, sir. Finally, the whole world will shake. After years of captivity, I am free again. What are you? A demon of music samples. A hellish destroyer of instruments. I hope that you don't want to destroy my grand piano. I do. This is why I appeared in this world again. But you know, this is a big grand piano and you aren't a huge destroyer. I may be small, but I have a huge robot. If you lose, I'll devour your grand piano. Together with the school. <laughs> that changes things. Let's fight them. Frederick versus Otaku! Let's <laughs> go. 
Musicality. No. He promised that I would defeat you. He promised. Who? Who told you this? Who? Who? The mysterious guy in a hood we met in Moscow. And he said I was the chosen one and that only I could defeat you. Eh, uh, sorry, but it didn't work. Oh, oh, so now a terrible fate awaits me. What fate? I'm going back to school. Beautiful music. So classical. And all I could see a connoisseur. Come over here, join the table. Let me treat you to a glass of hot tea from a samovar. With pleasure. The day is somewhat cool for a long walk. Oh, don't exaggerate. Yesterday I sent my grandchildren on holiday camping by a river. Here you are, the hot tea. Fabulous tea. I already feel relaxed. Um, what is this music? Beautiful, if a little slow. Slow? <laughs> that sounds funny. This is a recording of my last concert. I am a famous pianist. There isn't anyone strong enough not to fall asleep during my concert. I put the whole Grand Theatre to sleep. Carnegie Hall in Sesea. Sydney Opera House. Anyway, look at the street. I turn the speaker and people fall asleep while walking. Indeed, they fall asleep, but only some of them. The militia man on duty and the man with the bottle. They were actually almost asleep anyway. I myself feel only slightly relaxed, and that might be only because of the tea. Stop, or I'll feel offended. And what kind of a know-all are you? You think you could do better then? As it happens, I am a pianist and a composer, and obviously I could do better. You what? Let's have a bet. Prikrasna! I love gambling. Let's play and see on which side of the square more people will fall asleep. Very well then. To work. Fred or 
Rick versus Vasily. Musicality. Vasily, get up. You really do need to wake up. Yes, what? Oh, another revolution, my comrade? Where am I? Ah, oh, deary me. I had a dream that I was young again. Oh, the bet? I remember now. Looks like I've lost. It would appear so, yes. Now, since you've lost, tell me if there was somebody who talked you into this bet. How shall I put it? Uh, there was this man in, in a hood, like the kids of today wear. He promised money. Personally, I don't trust those rotten, those business people. But you know, my pension is low, and here, dollars. And have you any idea where I could find him now? I don't think he said, but I know one thing, you can find all the answers in your mother country. But of course, Poland. I'll be off. I must have been away from my country for centuries.
What a journey. I was shaken and tossed about like, say, on, on Polish roads. I'm so happy that I finally reached my homeland. I can hear the beautiful Polish tongue. Fellow countrymen, welcome. Which part of Poland are we in? For I'm not familiar with this region. Hey, mister, what were you up to yesterday if you don't even know which country you're in? We are in Ireland, as it happens. Are you Polish? Have you also come to work? No, I must have got here by mistake. What a coincidence. The first people I meet are my countrymen. <laughs> A coincidence? What coincidence? Whichever stone you turn, there's a pole jumping out. A plumber, a manager. How are we to uphold tradition here? Off you go. Go on, show. You are, as I understand, a local? Well, what are you waiting for? Aren't you scared of me? Since I've been back, I've seen stranger things, and some people would even be scared of me. I'm a musician, Frederick Chopin, on his way to his homeland. A musician, you say? That's very interesting. I am Leprechaun Leon, and I'm here to promote tradition and folk music. We even have a band here, the Gooseberries. Daisy, boys, come here. A musician from Poland came to visit. Look at that, a Polish musician. We've never had one of them before. We had professors, IT specialists, or even lawyers. But a musician? I haven't seen one yet for sure. I'm here by mistake. And anyway, I was just planning to go to Poland. Certainly not. No way. We uphold tradition here. Since you haven't run off, we won't let you go until you pass the test. If you succeed, you'll get a pot of gold. But if not, we shall drown you. Great. What test shall we give him? If he's a musician, let's have him play better than us. We were going to practice in the afternoon anyway. Fantastic. And if he loses, off to the sea with him. Frederick versus the Gooseberries!
musicality. You played well, but I didn't want to be drowned. Where have you got the pot of gold? Now we don't really have a pot of gold. Now we only have debts. The banks are harassing us. That's why we provoked you. He promised to pay them off for us. Which him? The one who brought me back? A mysterious man in a hood? It's not just anyone. It's Mastermind X himself. He foresaw that we might lose. And in which case, he made us pass on the message that tomorrow noon, he will be waiting for you in your homeland, in Warsaw, on top of the tallest palace. I thought I got here by mistake because of the storm. He is powerful. He can do anything. A storm or fog like this, he can make it just like that. Beware of him. What a truly beautiful sight. Only where is the villain? A phone call for you, sir. For me? Do I speak to this? Thank you. It's Frederick. Hello? Take a look ahead. Excuse me? X, I suppose. Yeah, that's me, the savior of humanity. Savior? You destroy music. Me? It was you who defeated the last independent musicians of show business. They ran to me. Here are their contracts. Ha <laughs> ha! So it was your diabolical plan? You. I'm the biggest music producer in the world. <laughs> you are an incarnation of evil. I know. Thanks. I will stop you. Let's fight. You have no dough to get to the club where I bought you. Let alone fight me. Yeah. I exist on a different level. You get it? Yes, but... I don't understand why you are stroking a pig all the time. Don't talk like this about Piggy! You are no one! I'll buy you out right away! I'm rolling in it! Understand? Frederick versus Mastermind X!
dear ladies. Frederick, this is the end. All is lost. Don't say that. This isn't the end of the world. But it is. We got a contract from Mastermind. We couldn't refuse. He's so handsome. <laughs> I will defeat him. I'll free you. Frederick, no offense. You play wonderfully, but um, your music doesn't do it. Excuse me? Your music lacks the heart. Exactly. It lacks. So this is why I felt such an inner void all the time. Frederick, your heart is right beside you. There is still hope. And we're off to shoot our latest video clip. Yeah. Horror of horrors. It cannot end like this. I am in my country. My heart is here. Beautiful. I'll buy them. All. I'll make a run for my piggy there. You can't buy them. Those buildings are long gone. Die? Can't buy? But have them rebuilt. Yeah. Right? Well, this is supposed to be beautiful. I don't get it. I'll buy it. It's not for sale. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me, man? Everything's got its price. How much? It's a symbol of music. Those who love music hold it in their heart. Those who trade it will never have it. Yeah? Heart and talent are two things you never had. Me livid! Me livid! Me! Yo! Frederick versus Mastermind X!
musicality. It's impossible! Your money doesn't work in here. But everybody has their price, right? Well, I don't. Ah, whatever. I like you, you know. Play what your heart tells you to. I'm leaving the business. Really? Yes, I realize that my behavior harms the society. I'll only take five bonuses before I leave, and I will live off royalties and commission like a common, honest man. Hold it. W what's up? Give it back. Oh, well, everybody needs to look after themselves. Farewell, Piggy. Farewell, Chopin. Give back the musicians' contracts. No, 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 please. They are free. But without them, I'll be so very, very plain. It will improve your health, mental health. Oh, God damn it, Chopin. You'll pay me for this. Maybe. But first, as a punishment, I sentence you to listen to your own music. No, anything but this. This is a music substitute product. You could get poisoned. Which you flooded the world with until further notice. It doesn't matter what kind of music people play, as long as it flows from their heart. Am I right, dear ladies? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes Frederick. Frederick. You, you have set, set us free. free. Thank you. My pleasure. Yeah. yeah.